Hi guys, my name is not Leah, you can call me Anna. So for this video, I'm going to be reviewing the two books, Girl Online and Girl Online on tour. Overall, I really enjoyed both of them. I thought they were really good reads. I really love Noah and while this one I think tipped a bit further into being over dramatic, I think they both have really realistic issues in them. So they're good. Check them out if you want to. This book has great characters, a great plot, it's really realistic, it has tough issues that it handles really well in my opinion. It starts off and in the first chapter Penny has a panic attack and I thought that it was really realistic. Reading it I felt like it was me. I really related to the character and I thought it was done really well. As somebody who has anxiety issues as well myself, I thought that the anxiety that Penny has in this book was handled really well and shown really well to the readers. I thought it was nice as well that in the book she actually finds ways to deal with her anxiety. As well, just the book itself really drew me in and I fell in love with the characters. I just wanted all of them to have a really happy ending and I thought that it really had a good mix of like bad things happening and then good things happening. I love her best friend Elliot. I love him. He is amazing and I really wish that I had a best friend on the other side of my bedroom wall that I could just knock to and you know be like come over. I really really love Noah. I thought his character was incredible and just had so much depth. All of the characters really had a lot of depth in this book I felt like they were all just kind of well thought out and planned. As well when she was going out with Noah and having like a magical mystery day it really just gave me a desire to go traveling myself. It kind of gave me a nostalgia for the book Just One Day by Gail Foreman which I really loved as well and had a lot of travel in it so yeah I just really liked that aspect. Towards the end of the book where everything goes wrong I have to admit I was really angry at Penny and Noah for not communicating and just sorting out their issues that way. But I have to say it was pretty realistic because I think when the media takes things like that and especially with two people like that where Penny has a blog and Noah is a famous musician, I think it's very believable that they would just stick behind their little wall. Another thing is when reading this book I actually cried when Penny was getting bullied on her blog for going out with Noah and basically being a home wrecker as they called her. I was really upset because she was really upset and I just really related to her so much that I could feel her pain. I thought that was done really well even though I didn't like crying but when a book makes you cry it's kind of worth it. My copy of the book actually has the beginning of the second book at the end and I didn't realize this at first when I was reading it. So when I was reading it there were more pages to go and I thought okay I'm not quite at the end yet and suddenly it ended so I was not really prepared for it to end but even though I wasn't really prepared I still really loved the ending. It was a really nice read. It ended really well and it was just made me feel kind of warm and fuzzy and I I was really glad that they ended up together and happy and everything was all good and they got their problems sorted out by communicating. Communication is the key to relationships. So the book Girl Online on tour, which as you guessed is the sequel to the first one. Overall this book I still liked it but it wasn't as good for me as the first one. It felt over the top to me. I felt that the things that went wrong kind of tipped it from being realistic to just melodramatic. I still loved the way it was written. It clearly showed that Penny is still dealing with her anxiety issues and things like that. Doesn't doesn't just go away. It's not like you click your fingers and suddenly you're fixed. The fact that there was a sequel to the first book which ended so well told me immediately that it would be a book full of problems and I was not wrong. Okay but even though I was prepared for the problems and the issues that they were gonna face I was really hesitant and I cringed a lot while reading this book. I was suspicious of everyone when the real truth was revealed as being like this villain in the book that is trying to keep Noah and Penny from being together while they're on this tour. I was suspicious of everyone except for Dean. Surprisingly, I never suspected Dean. So I mean, I guess that's good. You surprised me. I didn't think it was gonna be Dean. I didn't even consider it being Dean and suddenly it was him at the end and I was like, what? I honestly believe through reading this that Blake and Megan were like conspiring in the shadows. And yeah, when I, when I found out that it wasn't them at the end, I kind of was a bit disappointed because of all the little clues that I'd read. But you could argue that it's just a really well executed red herring. So I don't know if I can count that as a bad point about the book. Even though Blake was not in any way behind the real truth, I still hated him and I still hate him actually. I felt like his apology kind of came out of nowhere but I think that's mainly because we weren't with him and Noah when he had his transformation and came to the realization that like he wanted to change and stuff. We weren't with them because Penny had left the tour by then. Because we weren't with him we couldn't see that happening. I just yeah I didn't really relate to that. I really hate him still. I'm glad that Penny was like cautious to forgive him and move on there. My favorite part of the entire book is Leah. I love 
Leah. I genuinely can't even express how much I love Leah. She's my favorite character, I think. Maybe. I really like the other characters too, but I just, I loved Leah. I was so worried at the beginning of this book that she was going to be brought in as like a villain character. She was going to be mean and she was going to be like, why did you steal Noah? It's like, you didn't even have Noah. But yeah, I was really happily surprised that they didn't do that. She was a really nice character and she and Penny became friends. I'm just so happy about that. The biggest letdown in this book for me was the ending. Again, after the first book, which left Penny and Noah in a really good place, to have the second book not even properly resolve their issues was really annoying. I get that it's realistic for real life that, you know, two people, especially a famous musician, you just can't make promises and like you can wish for the best and hope that things are going to work out and promise to try your hardest but you can't always say whether it will work out so I get that it's realistic in that way but I just really it was really annoying for a novel to not have a proper resolution as such I felt that was a disappointment unless they're going to have a third book but I think if they had a third one there would just be way too much drama and I could not handle it that's all I have to say about those two please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the books if you have read them yourself I'd love to hear your thoughts and whether you agree with me or if you disagree let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe to my channel you can follow me on twitter and tumblr and goodreads they're all in the same username of hufflepuffism and i will see you in my next video bye